Hello and uh, welcome back to another part in my analog DIY synthesizer project videos. In this video I'm just going to be showing you how I have implemented the cross modulation FM within my Advantage 03 system. Uh, what you have is three, the three oscillator boards here and they are linked in a sort of basic kind of FM algorithm shall we say like so. So we have VCO1, VCO2, and VCO3. Now this is not something I've seen on any other sort of subtractive analog synthesizers, but it was something which I sort of toyed about with in my head and thought I'd give a, uh, give a go as an experiment um, when it was at the breadboard stage and it sort of worked out quite good. And it sort of gives you a little bit more sort of scope for sort of unique uh, timbers other than what you'd expect from sort of subtractive analog synthesizers. This is more something you get on kind of digital synthesizers and sort of F um, VSTs, etc. So basically how this FM works here is pretty much how most FM works is we, we use uh, the audio rate frequency of one oscillator stroke operator to modulate the next one which will be the carrier and on my setup what we have is VCO3 modulates VCO2 and this is all done via a switch so we have a, sw a switch so we can turn these on and off and VCO2 modulates VCO1 so if we have VCO3 modulating VCO2 already and we go to modulate VCO1 we will actually create even more sidebands uh, than we would get if we just used a basic two op uh, oscillator cross modulation. However, I have a very small trick up my sleeve with my uh, implementation as we have a feedback, a variable feedback loop, which is quite interesting and you can have that so we can literally turn off the other oscillators and just toy about with VCO3 with a feedback loop and again if we have these all switched on and linked at the same time this affects the VCO1 the most which is at the end of the chain and we can have these all switched on or should I say output in their various waveforms don't forget the waveforms are mixable so each one has a, a saw triangle and a pulse stroke square wave Give you some very interesting results can sound very messy but yeah again it's more about getting sort of unique sounds it can be good for sort of creating sound effects we can get some kind of musical um tones with it as well you can maybe have vco ones turned on without being uh frequency modulated and then maybe have v uh, the fm just happening between these two oscillators and use that as a backup tone to add a bit of metal to uh the sort of run of the mill tone from here quite interesting when you add effects on boom you're talking okay so um, what I'm going to show you in the next part of this video is basically some um, just a little bit of a noodle basically not to sort of get too musical and too serious with it so so you can kind of hear a little bit of a basis of how it works let me know what your thoughts are anyway catch you on the other side people